So today I have another majorly big empties. I could have used to do this a little bit earlier and yeah, so we better just jump right in. Um, I do apologize for the kind of the space lack of videos for a little over a week. I hate doing that, but I've just been like so tired and sore all the time. If I go anywhere when I get back, I'm just exhausted and in pain. <laughs> but um, Jocelyn's been kicking like crazy all the time, so it's good to just know that she's doing good in there. So, and hopefully I don't sound weird. My voice, like to me, is going in and out so much. It's the weirdest thing. It's, like it's worse than a tunnel. It's like it's really bad right now. So, ugh. Okay. So the first thing I used up. Well, not the first. Since obviously I just throw these things in here, but I guess the last thing I used up is the Meyer Fresh Mint uh, Whitening Rinse. Obviously, is compared to Listerine Vibrant White whitening mouthwash so I pretty much just always buy the store brand of either Meyer or Target so yeah use this before I brush um, I used up the skin blow chin uh, body lotion in pure and clean I did really like this it's a little bit more natural um, not super natural super natural <laughs> um, but it it's not super it's not too pricey is what I'm trying to say you can find this at Rite Aid I'm not sure exactly where else but I did really like that um, then the Bain de Terre passion flower color preserving and moisturizing shampoo um, I just kind of used this up to use it up because I've had this for a really long time um, which I think I actually liked it better the second time around when I actually finished it up but I did get this online I can't remember where, but I tried it because of uh, Samantha Sherman here on YouTube. And then Avino, Av Avino, Avino, Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. I did really like this, but I felt like I went through it pretty fast because it's only 18 ounces. Um, yeah, it's just nice and moisturizing. I did really like that. Um, then the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap for Oily Skin. This lasted me a long time and I did really like it. Uh, it's a simple basic face wash. It's not overly drying to take off my makeup at night. And I did like it a lot. So I do need to get another basic face wash. Because right now I've just been using like whatever and I've been breaking out really bad too. So that probably doesn't help. Um, then I have a couple deodorants because that's always good to use. Uh, have the Secret Natural Mineral Eucalyptus Blossom. I did like that. And then the Dove Go Fresh is usually my go-to. So, yeah. I'll say about deodorant. You hope it works. Uh, Color Brilliant Intensive Shine Demi Permanent Hair Color in Medium Ash Blonde. Um, I don't always show this. Sometimes I just throw it away without including it. If you haven't seen my empties before, you might not know that well, this is what I use. So yeah, they'll pretty much always... I use one of these every month is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like every four weeks at least. And then the Basis Clean Your Clean Face Wash. That's kind of similar to the Clinique one. I've been looking for this in the store and I can never find it now. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's just a really cheap good basic face wash that takes off makeup really well. And then the Avon Advanced Techniques 360 Nourish Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo. Uh, not really sure what I thought about this because again I just used up the last bit to use it up. I've been trying to do that lately <laughs> but um, yeah I had that for a long time too. But I think it was a good shampoo. And then I always have my Not Your Mother's hairspray because it's not an empties video without that but yeah always go through that like crazy um then for hair i did use up the tresemme thermal creations heat tamer leave-in spray that's what i still use and i do like it and it's only like 3.99 and then acetone nail polish remover so it's just the up and up store brand i always use the pure acetone because it just Takes it off super fast. No messing around. 
Um, then the Maya Badescu Special Cleansing Lotion C. This again is a pretty much a staple for me. I have another bottle. Um, the Rite Aid Renewal Oil Free Makeup Remover. I use this for my eye makeup. I'm still using this as well. And I do really like it. The Tone Daily Detox Purifying White Clay and Pink Jasmine Body Wash. I feel like I kind of went through this really fast too. But um, I liked it. It smelled good. So, yeah. Then the Color Brilliance Pre-Color Treatment. This lasted me a long time. Um, and I do have another bottle of it now. You can get this at Sally's and I just spray in a little bit, especially towards the ends of my hair, right before I dye it. So, yeah, I do like that. Wow, it's been a while since I used up <laughs> these in the bottom here. Um, Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist, which reminds me I did like that, and I need to get it again, but, yeah, that's been a while. Okay. Um, another hairspray. Um, Bosch and Gnome Proxiclear uh, Contact Solution. That is my favorite right now. I feel like it works really well, cleans my contacts, and I can get more wear out of them. So they don't get gumped up so fast with, like, hairspray and stuff. Oh, yeah, and I had another hair color box in here, so there you go. You know, it's been at least a while. Oh, this, um, the NYX BB Beauty Balm. I was kind of bummed to throw this away. This is basically full, but it says it's good for nine months, and it is paraben-free, which is good. But, yeah, I had this over a year, and... I just, I know I'm not going to use it enough to use it up and it's already expired, so yeah. Um, if I was going to use this, it probably would have had to have been in the colder months um, since it's not like really mattifying or anything. So yeah, if your skin isn't quite as oily as mine, I would recommend it, but this is very, very light coverage. So yeah, I had to just throw it away. Um, I used up the Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. It's a little mini size that I got in a Bare Minerals kit, and I did like that. Um, MAC Prep and Prime CC uh, Color Correcting Loose Powder in Adjust. This is a staple for me as well. I have another one that I'm using, um, which I need to set this aside to back to MAC. But um, yeah, this always lasts me a really long time. Highly recommend that powder. Um, the tea tree, uh, palmetto tea tree special conditioner, invigorating conditioner. This um, does smell like tea tree, and is very has like a strong a kind of cooling effect. Um, but I think it did detangle really well. Um, I still have the shampoo that like this came in a kit with, but when you put the shampoo, on, which I don't put conditioner on top of my head. So this I didn't mind, but the shampoo when I put it on, it just felt like so cold. I just, I couldn't deal with it in the winter. So I have, I'm saving the rest for like summer or something. But um, yeah, I like that, but it's kind of a small bottle. And then the last few things are makeup. Um, the Sigma Bare Eyeshadow Base in Persuade. This is what I used for a while um, before I started using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as eye primer. I did like this, but um, I feel like my MAC, my MAC concealer works just, just as well, if not better. And so just one less product I have to buy. Um, I had the last little bit of this sitting in there and it kind of dried out. So yeah, but that is a good eyeshadow base. And then a beauty blender, yeah, needed to get rid of that. These do last me quite a while if you just wash them really well every morning before you use it. Um, I use a Dr. Bronner's soap, so yeah. Love my beauty blenders. And then I have this concealer, did not use it up again, but I just need to toss it. I'm not going to use it. It's kind of like a brightening click pen type concealer. Honestly, I think I bought it because of the cute packaging. It's just so cute. 
I don't want to throw it away. But I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite. And just the consistency and everything and the type of concealer it is, like it doesn't really work well to cover spots. And then it was kind of too greasy for me for under eyes. I don't know. This wasn't my favorite. And I had that for at least a year, I think. Um, and then two mascaras. The, uh, I think I was using the Wand of the Butterfly with a different one. Yeah. Anyways. And then the, the writing is totally gone on this, but it was Maybelline the Rocket. And I did like that as well. Is that it? Oh. Uh, I threw in this eye sam this eye cream sample because I do want to buy this one. Um, it's the Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream that just came out recently. Um, they do have it at Target, I believe, for $14.99. I just haven't gotten it yet. Um, I do have a coupon that came with this sample, and I think I think it was in my Allure magazine. Um, but yeah, I did like it, and this sample lasted me like at least a week because you just need a little bit obviously and I did really like it and then I need all the anti fatigue stuff I can get right now with the baby on the way so that is it as if it was only a few things <laughs> for my empties um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video Bye guys!